Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Quranic treasure series. Inshallah, today we'll be exploring a treasure from Juz 27. And this treasure can be found in Surah Dhariyat, verse 50, inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Fafirru Alhamdulillah, my dear brothers and sisters, what a beautiful verse. Short, but so, so effective. My dear brothers and sisters, as believers, we love Allah. We love Allah so much. We cannot wait. You and I, none of us, we can't wait, inshallah, to be blessed with Allah giving us Jannatul Firdaus and to be blessed by being in Allah Azzawajal's infinite mercy in the Akhirah. For that, we have to run to Allah. What do we have to do? We have to run to Allah. That is what Allah tells us in this verse. Fafirru ilallah. Run to Allah. And the amazing thing is, my dear brothers and sisters, the word uh, al-firar, like here it's fafirru. So the word al-firar, which means to run, to hasten. Whenever it is mentioned in the Quran, that that word from any word from that root al firar whenever it is mentioned in the quran before it is the word from from i e run from throughout the quran for example uh, when 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 we, when we learn about the story of musa alayhi salam when musa alayhi salam returned to firaun as a messenger. Fir'aun asked him, Are you not the one we raised as a boy? And now you come as a messenger? So Musa alayhi salam, what did he say? He explained why he has come. And he said, فَفَرَرْتُ minkum," That I ran away from you. فَفَرَرْتُ So there's that word that's come. Minkum from I ran away from you. That's one example. Another example in Surah Al Ahzab when Allah talks about um, death. In min al maut that running away from death will never benefit you, will never help you. So again, Allah has mentioned the term running, and before that He has put and or after that he has put from that running away from death subhanallah in surah al jumu'ah qul inna al maut alladhi tufirruna minhu fa innahu mulaqikum verily death the death that you are fleeing from will surely meet you the death that you are running away from will meet you allahu akbar in surah um mudaththir فَرَّتْ مِنْ قَصْوَرَةِ Running away from beasts. In Surah Abasa, يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِي that, that day, on the day of judgment, a, a brother will want to run away from their brother. They will run away from their brother. They will run away from the mother. 
سبحان الله الله أكبر all of these examples what do we learn in the Quran Allah implies what we can imply we can infer from that سبحان الله that whenever Allah mentions the term running we generally run away from things we are fearful of we generally run away from things that we want to avoid. Allah gives examples in those verses about death. A per that person who is scared of death, they want to run away from it. Musa alayhi salam, he was fearful of Fir'aun, i.e. the consequences of being in Fir'aun's company. He ran away from Fir'aun. We run away from beasts, lions that we're scared of. Allahu Akbar. But when it comes to Allah, what does Allah say? Fafirru ilallah. Run, not away from Allah. Run to Allah. Run towards Allah. Subhanallah. Don't run away from Allah. Run to Him. Subhanallah. Run to His forgiveness. Run away from shirk to tawheed. Run away from your problems to the one who can solve your problems, brothers and sisters. Run away from illness to the one who gives cure to illnesses. Subhanallah. Otherwise, where else can you and I go? If we can't run to Allah, where else can you and I run for comfort? Subhanallah, my dear brothers and sisters, are we scared to run to Allah? Are you and I scared to run to Allah because of our sins? Let's listen to a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abu Dhar radiallahu an, he mentioned... That the Prophet وسلم, said, Allah the Almighty says, a hadith Qudsi, whoever comes with a good deed will have the reward of ten like it, and even more. If you and I do a good deed, on the day of judgment, we will see as though we have done it ten times. Subhanallah. We give charity, it will be as though we gave charity ten times. Any good deed you and I do, it's as though we've done it how many times? Ten times, or even more. Subhanallah. Then Allah Azza wa explain, whoever comes with an evil deed, they will be rec rec recompensed for one evil deed like it. Or, they will be forgiven if they've made tawbah. So on the day of judgment, we will see it as one evil deed, or we will see it's completely been wiped away because we repented to Allah. Subhanallah. Look how just Allah is. And then what does Allah say? Whoever draws close to me by the length of a hand, I will draw close to him by the length of an arm. Whoever draws Whoever comes to me walking, I will come to him running. Meaning, never give up, my dear brothers and sisters. Turn to Allah as quickly as you can when we sin. Seek Allah's forgiveness. Run to Allah. Allah says, if you walk to Allah, Allah will come to us running. Metaphorically, his mercy and his forgiveness will come to us so quick. Acceptance will come from him. So quick. That is why, did you know, brothers and sisters, generally, when the Prophet ﷺ was told by Allah to say something to the people, in the Qur'an, it would start off with قُلْ قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ O oh, disbelievers, say, O oh, disbelievers, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Say, Allah is one. All of these examples, whenever Allah told the Prophet ﷺ, say this to the people, all was mentioned. But look 
at the verse of dua. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي When my servants ask you. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي When my servants ask you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about me. What did Allah say after that? فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ Allah didn't even say, قُلْ فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ Allah didn't say, say to them. Say to them, if my servants ask you about me, say to them, I am near. Ask me because I'm near. Allah didn't even say, say to them. What did Allah say? فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I am near. There's no barrier. Allah didn't even say, say, because there's nothing stopping there's nothing stopping our dua reaching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's to emphasize that there's no dial-up connection. We don't need to press connect when it comes to us running to Allah, when it comes to us seeking Allah's forgiveness. There's no buffering with Allah's forgiveness. There's no buffering. There's no delay. Allahu Akbar. فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ so what should we do? Run to Allah's forgiveness, my dear brothers and sisters. Run to Allah's forgiveness. Allah Azza wa Jal has reminded us, Ana inda dhanni abdi bi. I am to my servant what he or she expects of me. Run to Allah. Run to Allah's forgiveness. Don't feel that you can no longer turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the most forgiving. We as believers, we cannot wait to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We cannot wait because Allah is the most forgiving for you and I. We pray that Allah accepts all of our du'as, my dear brothers and sisters. And we pray that Allah enables us to have such a mentality that we cannot wait to turn to Allah in salah. We cannot wait to turn to Allah in dua. May Allah make it such that we love to meet Allah Azza wa Jal because as a result, Allah will love to meet us. Insha'Allah. Jazakumullah khair. Insha'Allah, my dear brothers and sisters, in the next session, we will move on to a treasure from Juz 28. Jazakumullah khair. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته